Well, good afternoon, YouTube. This is Chuck, and it's uh, Tuesday, October 29th, 2024, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And when, at the end of my last video, I said I was going to keep working on the old fire truck until I got it back on its wheels again. And as you can see there, I do. The only thing I got left to do on that is uh, I got to torque the lug nuts and I got to make sure the brakes are adjusted right. And then I'm going to take it back over to the to this little house. But that's not what we're doing right now. What we're doing right now is we're back over on this thing. Now those of you that have been following the channel for a little while know that uh, I had a problem with a stuck fuel injector a while back. It kept fuel filing a plug and it was on the number 8 which is on the very last cylinder here on the driver's side right back over here. And I've had to change that multiple times and I kind of got it down. So I got my fender cover here and I got a towel there to kind of keep me not only keep me clean but give me some padding I put a little spray can cover over the hood latch there because that's got a little sharp spot on it that uh, that wants to reach out and bite you and make you bleed and ask me how I know that so I'm gonna pull that back plug out and check it and uh, but I've done it so many times I actually have some spare spark plugs so I've got I clean them up and put them in a box so I got a clean plug there I know what tool I need to change it, so let me set you up right here. See if I can aim this right here so that you can kind of follow along. And let's see, kind of try to take you with me on swapping this, because I'm just going to swap that plug out and put a different one in. This is kind of a squirrely thing to get into because you got to get way back here, and I have to actually lay down on my chest in order to reach all the way back in there. And take that spark plug wire off. Sometimes it don't want to come off. There it is. And grab the wrench. had to do this I haven't had to do this in quite a while there we go if I'm correct this plug is going to show evidence of being fuel filed and there it is I don't know how well you can see it on camera but it shouldn't look like that. It should actually look like that one. See how clean that one is? So let me put that one in. Like I said, I've done this enough times now. I kind of know how to hold everything. And I thought I had that problem whooped. It's been several months since I've had to do this. That's all it took. Next thing you do is start it and see if it's running on all eight cylinders. Because when it fuel files the plug, it only runs on seven cylinders. And I think you can sit right there while I do that. Okay, you fell over, but that was okay. You notice it was running on all eight again, so I was right. So, uh, the real correct way, let me get over here, the real correct way of fixing that would be obviously to put new fuel injectors in it. And, uh, but you know, those darn things are $118 a piece on Rock Auto. I checked a little while ago. And that means that, uh, there's eight cylinders, that means to change all eight of them. Uh, that's uh, $940, plus I need to 
plenum gasket and tax and shipping and all that kind of stuff. So you are probably talking a thousand dollar bill to change all that. But one of the other issues is on this motor, let me show you where I'm talking about here. This little shiny thing down here is the fuel rail. And those are, these things here are the fuel injectors. Well, this side here, the driver's side, not too bad to get to. This 351 Windsor motor has, has a two-piece intake manifold. That top thing's called a plenum. And the fuel rail for the passenger side is underneath that. So that means in order to change those, you got to take that off. And that's a pain in the butt. So the proper way to, the real proper way to fix it, the real proper way to fix it would be to change all those out. Uh, but I don't have an extra thousand dollars bouncing around and so you saw how quick and easy it was to change that plug So that's what I'm that's what I'll do if I have to do that every few weeks. It's not that big a deal uh, Hopefully I, one of the other problems with that of course is I, I haven't been driving this out of town very much and uh, And that's uh that was because the front tires were so bad But I got new tires on it now so I can drive it on the highway And I think if you get it out and get it on the highway and get some highway miles on it and get it warmed up I don't think that'd be quite the issue. I think that'll clean that plug off enough. I just don't drive it around enough to get it warmed up enough to do that. So anyway, a little quick one. And uh, so as I always tell you, take care of each other and love each other. And I'll be back with you again on another one. I wanted to get into another subject, but I seem getting trapped in this being Joe mechanic here for a while. So right now, let me just tell you, peace out. <laughs>